Here we go with the great Michael Rooker, everybody. And I want to welcome to the program, to those uh, listening, uh, Mr. Michael Rooker. You may know him from such films as, well, this crowd is very Kevin Smith specific, so mall rats without a doubt, but also JFK, um, uh, obviously Guardians of the Galaxy, if you're fans of uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, and I want to welcome you to the show. And this is a very like Kevin Smith centric kind of show where we basically fan out about Kevin a lot and, you know, interview guests from his world and, and kind of talk about what he's up to. And I guess the biggest thing right now would be uh, Mall Rats too. That's right. So how did it feel to hold up those two but, fingers, sir? Isn't it crazy? I mean, it's going to be awesome. I mean, why? That's, that's like... How many years in the making, you know? And, and, you know, it's like this movie just, the fan base just kept growing and growing and growing. And, and now it's at, the, at a state that, yes, indeed, um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be cool. I'm, I'm excited. Did you ever expect that? You know, back when we did this movie, you know, people really didn't do a lot of uh, sequels. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm happy. I did not expect it. No, at all, not at all. And uh, so, and now that it's happening, I'm I'm thrilled. Can you believe the rapidity with with you know? Because first it was announced that it was happening, then that it would be soon, and now it's sort of Kevin's next project. <laughs> well, I think now, you know, once once it was announced, people started responding, and the response has been massive. So um, studios aren't blind, you know. They hear this. They, they have people online as well. And so they say, they hear the chatter. They hear what's going on. And they're like, you know what? The iron is hot. Let's strike. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, it's amazing. The response was so overwhelmingly positive that, you know, it was, you know, I, I found it. It's like a very good time for Kevin Smith fans. Mm -hmm. I want to talk a little bit. I, I, first of all, I think your your work is excellent, and uh, you know, as a, a young well, I guess I was in my young twenties when I first saw Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, and was utterly blown away by your performance, frightened by it. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you approach the craft? I mean, are you method, or are you just do you just wing it, or how, what? How do you what's your approach? Wait, wait, wait. I go way beyond method. All right, method method stops at thinking about your puppy in the middle of the road, run over by a semi truck. You know, yeah. no, I'm not there. Okay, I'm, I'm beyond beyond that. I mean, most good act most good actors are. You know, and and I mean by that is like you make it personal. It it, it becomes a personal thing. I find it even hard to talk about my character in the third person. You know, when I'm when I'm doing interviews. Really? You know, especially if I'm doing an interview and in the middle of still doing the project, like uh, like on a TV show or something like that, it's really hard to do interviews, and because you, you you you're talking about you know you're basically talking about the, the character, but it's it's personal, you know. Yeah. And it becomes um, you know it becomes when I do this and when I did that, and you know, and, and it's not like well when well when um. Rick did this, you know, or when, or when, um, when Daryl did this, it would be like as if I, I was talking, well, well, well when Merle, as if Merle is some other, uh, un, some other character out there. No, I, I'm like, when I did this, when I do that, and when, when you see me do this, this is more personal. And so it, it, it keeps the character, uh, um, uh, centered within your own psyche and within within your own uh, creative uh, juices. You know, yeah, I don't. I hardly, I I hardly ever, unless I'm done with the role and it's it's over. It's a lot easier for me to do interviews when that when I'm in that state. You know, not when I'm actually doing the show and when I'm actually in the middle of doing the character. And I'm, I'm actually, you know, well, I'm about to go on. You know, I it, I, I don't talk about, um, I never talk about Merle Dickinson in the third person. You know, so, and, and I don't. 
And yeah, that's, yeah. You know, that's it's a little what... different than some some people, and it's tough to not. It, it's it's tough. <laughs> people don't know where the character stops and where you pick up, or where you stop and the character picks up. It's all melded together. You understand? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. when when uh, Lori Holden would come up and talk to me on set, and she'd all and she'd look at me for a minute, and she'd go, and she'd say stuff like, "I have no idea." I don't. I, I don't know if, if who you know whether I'm talking to Earl Dixon or Michael Wicker. I said, "Well, are you talking to both, baby." You no, know, we're here. You know, we're we're. It's this. I'm in the middle of about to do the scene. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. know, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna um, jeopardize the scene by a lot of times coming on a character and, and just completely stopping what I'm doing, you know, um, I'm about to do, do a thing. So you, 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 um, you know, there's all, you, you, you got to have that bubble around you so that you're sort of protecting the, the integrity of what you're about to do. Yeah. And so when I'm on set, I learned this from when I did Henry. When I did Henry, I, I stayed in character all day long. Oh my God! And 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 that was a hard job to do, and it was harder to go in and out of character. Though. So I'm so fortunately for me, I I figured that out, and so I basically just go into another room and, and just uh, be be by myself, you know, because I could not go in and out of character and talk about the lighting and talk about the, the <laughs> oh, uh, you know, all this kind of stuff. You can do that in, in some movies, you know, like action movies or, and all that kind of stuff. You can, you can do it in, in some movies. But when you, when you play characters that are as messed up as some of my roles, mm -hmm. it, it, it's really difficult to do. And I find it really hard to do. So I, I try to stay as close to where, where I need to be as possible, you know. If if if, if I if I have to actually, you know, talk to somebody about some other technical matters, then you know, I so be it. But then you know, um, then it's going to take a few minutes, you know, and then you know to to sort of get ready and get back into it and get ready to do the scene again. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, so I much prefer to. Um, I, I, I like, I like doing it that way. And I, and, and I don't, and I, like, I don't like other people like uh, playing with my lines. You know, I, don't, I sometimes my characters end up with, with some of the very, very popular lines. And it's, I don't, I don't like other people. I don't like hearing other people mess with my lines. Uh -huh. I don't like other people messing with my props. I, you know, I don't yeah. like other people like messing with the knife hand of Merle Dixon. Are you kidding me? He ain't gonna wear this. <laughs> Over my dead body, you're gonna wear this. No, no, don't touch it. You know, this is wow. really important stuff <laughs> for an actor. I got gotcha. you. I, uh, you know, it's funny because I, I remarked to a friend, my friend Chris, that we were going to speak yeah. today, and he said, uh, and I said, oh my god, I'm just thinking of this. Mr. Rooker has my information now. He's like, yes, he could come and get you, man. You better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's right, dude. <laughs> Uh, also, if, my, if I come and offer you, if I come and offer you a ride home, tell me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And when I told my brother that I was going to be speaking with you today, he was like, "Oh my God, he's my favorite actor!" So please tell him. So my brother Stephen says you're his favorite actor. And and one oh, more thing, that's awesome. That's awesome. Now this is going to be weird. Of all the guests I've had on this show, I've had Kevin Smith. I've had a lot of guys. You're yes. you're the first guest my kids were excited about because of Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. You got it, man. Yondu, Yondu is the most. It, it became this massive fan favorite. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of fan favorites in that show. There's a lot of really cool characters in that show. And but Yondu just Yondu with his his magical error error and his whistle and. Yeah, they did all that this, character all right. Cool stuff, and he's blue. You know, it's really cool. He's got the the wardrobe is is awesome. So yeah, it became. It's fun. It's fun to see little tiny little Yandus act like a comic. <laughs> you know yeah. what's cool it about my mind, dude. 
What's cool for me about having a podcast is like about two years ago, I said, you watch, that movie is going to be huge. It's going to be a sleeper hit. No one's saying it now. Everyone's saying a raccoon, really? I said, you watch, it's going to be big. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad I, I recorded that because... I, I called it, and it blew us all away. I mean, it was... A, it was you have the proof. You have the proof. <laughs> yes. You knew it before it happened. Man. I could see it happening. But, I mean, it was an amazing roller coaster ride. Now... It has, and it's awesome, man. And it's so... It's such a beautiful business when the fans are just... are The, the fans are way more powerful than they think they are. I think they're beginning... The fans are just beginning... They're beginning to realize that, guess what? When we band together, we fans are a m major entity and a major factor in in uh, maybe getting what we want, <laughs> you know, and, and the way we want it. Damn it! There was a lot of fear when Disney bought Marvel that Marvel, you know, that it would become some right. homogenized, you know, garbage. No, but it's just gotten better and better. Well, it's like having uh, it's like having um, a, 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 a checkbook that that goes on and on. You know? <laughs> yeah, well, it and, certainly and is. You do the you do the film, and and you have a budget. Don't get me wrong; you have a budget, but you also have that that buffer that that uh, if you want to change something or if you want to add something. You can you can do it. You you have the ability to do it because you have the you have the the backup. You have the finances to to help make that happen. You know, and it's it's a, it's a dream come true for uh, Marvel because man, they're creating a life you know where people can fly and 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 jump and pick up cars and throw them and I mean that. I'm sorry. I stepped on you. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's okay. Stop stepping on me. You know, <laughs> your brother finds out you stepped on uh, Henry Lee Lucas. You know, <laughs> my, or Michael, or, or Yadu, or Merle Dixon. He, he, he's going to be like, dude, don't you realize what you just did? <laughs> my joke um, all day was he's never tasted Taryn before. <laughs> <laughs> How funny, right? Uh, we watched oh, it last man. night and we're getting ready. Stuff, man. I love it. I love it. So I, I know you're going to be back in that movie, but so so what? You're, from what I'm gathering here, so when you when you get into character for Miss, yeah. when you get into Mister Svenning, you will be Mister Svenning. Absolutely. Oh wow! So. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Those huh? those uh, those uh, young men ain't going to be pulling that stuff over on me again. <laughs> Can that, I? Can that, I? That chocolate covered press. I was about to say. I got a little news for you. I'm wise to them now. <laughs> I was going to ask, how many of these interviews uh, have you done today? And of those interviews, how many people have offered you chocolate covered pretzels? You know what? I get chocolate covered pretzels all the time. See, I would love that. I mean, I, I go them. to the cons. I go to a, and I. You know, and I and I, um, I I do these Q and A's, and and people come up and they uh, they give me chocolate covered pretzels, and it's a, you know it's a an awesome awesome snack. God, and, I agree. Uh, I, I agree. love I love the dark covered chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> and I have a I have a ten of chocolate covered pretzels. I'm looking at right now in front of me. It's from um, these these are these are extremely delicious. They're from Godiva and they are, they're not the big, they're not big chocolate covered pretzels. And you could tell, listen, yep. Empty. The can is empty. <laughs> I, I just, I just shook it. There's, no, there's nothing, nothing else rattling in there and yeah. it's empty. I can't believe I have no more chocolate covered pretzels. I love those damn things. Oh, dude, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> hear that? Yes, I can hear them. A bag, a bag of chocolate covered pretzels right here, right here in my hand. <laughs> and hopefully stink palm free. Totally stink palm free. They're they're like clean now. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I, I I get them all the time, and and uh, fans are just amazing. And over the years. The fans for Mallrats have been the, the Mallrats and Henry 
Day and Days of Thunder have been some of the older movies that I've done whereby the fans have still hung on and you get new ones, brand new fans <laughs> yeah, that yeah. continue the friendship, to continue the, the psychological uh, creative franchise that's going. Such, okay. such an amazing it's phenomenon. Amazing. It just, just amazes me. It really is. It's amazing that movie was such, like, it, it, it didn't do anything at the box office, but is now such a loved film by so many people. It did nothing at the box office, yes. like two cents, right? We couldn't and even it find it. We wanted to see it. And it was great. <laughs> and the people who want to see it, who go see it, who go rip the tape, and which it was, that movie was out when videotape was still in, like, Blockbuster still existed, right? And pretty much every street corner had it. Yeah, yeah. And, and now, now uh, you know, you got, I don't know, you got things like, the red box and you and you got DVDs and you got HD DVD you know you got streaming and stuff. you just go online and 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 play and then pull it up and play it. I was watching the extended cut the other day the the version <laughs> the version that had like uh, the original beginning with the governor and. Mm-hmm. It was very fun watching you boss around your first toady, which was Vincent Pereira, if I recall. Because I didn't, you know, I didn't realize that he had been your first toady. Did you? What did you think? Uh, uh, I mean, it was it was, <laughs> it was interesting, right? Yeah, it's fun it to was, watch. It was definitely interesting. Yeah, they, they wanted to. The studio needed to get. They they were their idea was just to get to the kid. Yeah, as yeah, as fast as, as fast as possible. And so they cut out that whole entire sequence. Yeah, uh, um, Elizabeth Ashley. You know, was in it. And, yeah, yeah. It was uh, that whole party sequence, the whole governor party sequence. Yeah, you you and, get uh, to yeah. you get to really play like a oh, what would be a good word for it? Sort of a whipping boy or a a, a, a real sycophant. <laughs> it was great. Oh my god. <laughs> How much fun, right? How much fun. Yes, my wife still gets a kick out of when anytime your ass is shown. <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, my poor daughters. I don't know how many times <laughs> over the years they've been embarrassed by me. You know, my poor family. How they put up with the things I do. I mean, the things, the films that I end up in. And, and and some of the silly things I end up having to do, um, you know. Uh, I mean, when I do when I do comedy, I'm I'm all in. You know, I love comedy, and and I I'm a very physical physical comedy based guy. And so there there you have um, you know uh, you know clerks mall. I, I mean these these movies are very uh, word based. You know, yeah, yeah. But I think I think Mallrats was like one of one of one of the ones that added this whole physicality in there, and and my character is very very physical, and and I am as well, and I enjoy uh, I enjoy I I grew up with the Three Stooges and Evan Costello and all these <laughs> all these great comedy teams, so I I'm very uh, keen on. Um, um, uh, having the comedy come from some situation, and sometimes you know there's physical things that happen and that make it even more, even more funny. And um, so I, I enjoy that. And 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 in doing uh, more rat, uh, I I added that in. It's just. You know, Kevin really liked what I was doing. He enjoyed what I was doing and what I was doing with the character. And, and so it ended up being a great combination, a great teamwork, great collaborative effort. Yeah, it's I, I love it. I watch it frequently. Of a lot of his films, of Kevin's films, that the thing about Mallrats is it's so easy to just throw on and go, and, mm. and you can just watch yeah. it. It's It doesn't demand a lot of you, but yet... Like all of his dialogue, it it it, it elevated our generation, it made us look smarter yeah. than maybe we were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's that's true. 
that's true, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's what I loved about it. That's why I love seeing his movie. I'm like, wow, he makes us look smart. We should talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if we could? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, he has a lot of like 19... It feels like the 1920s and 30s style dialogue where you just got to... You got to go rapid fire, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. And and uh, so when you have that and you have characters in there that that also that are also like like me, you know, I mean, I, I mean, you, you the have foil. the handshake. That's that's very <laughs> that's very physical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. visual. It's extremely visual, and and that sets up the whole bag. The throwing up. I mean, it's ridiculous and it's funny. And I don't know if you had the scene in there. Uh, let's see, the extended version. Do I have the scene where I'm on the escalator? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That stuff is that awesome stuff, you know? Yeah. And just the the, the physical effect of uh, the um, Mr. Spinning's uh, opinion, of course, is like, you know, the poisoning. Yes. I mean, the poison me, you know, right? <laughs> And, but, I liked you kicking around Scotty Mosier too. It was fun. <laughs> good stuff. You, you definitely need just, a toady. Just, uh, good, just good stuff, man. Good <laughs> fun. Fun. Um, it, it, number two is just going to be just as much fun. It's going to just be just as much fun as uh, as the, the original. You know. No, I can't and, wait. Uh, I mean, I think the fans are going to go crazy for it. They're going to love it. <laughs> I just want to be around. <laughs> <laughs> You got it. Can you blame okay. me? Okay, if I if I was if I, you convinced me, you convinced me. If I was doing the hiring, you'd be hired. Okay, <laughs> we don't know. More will be revealed. They, my manager's still waiting for a call. <laughs> I hope they call me. I hope they call me soon. Oh boy, I, I'm and sure they will. Talking about this, I'm sure they will. I think the the probably the biggest wrinkle to any of this would be that Jordan just had a baby. So, oh, oh you know what? That, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. She can chill out a little. Hey, we can add the baby in. Yeah. <laughs> baby be part of the show. Yes. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see the whole crew assembled. I am so grateful that you uh, gave me this time today, sir. Uh, uh, I am overjoyed and overwhelmed. I mean, uh, I'm... I'm... Uh, I, I had no idea. Dude, I had no idea. Uh, you know, there was, this, there was this whole show pod that podcast that was based and and just followed the Kevin Smith stuff around. I mean, you, you guys are awesome. Are you kidding me? Great. Well, uh, if, if, I'm going to have my own. I'm going to get somebody to set up my. I want a podcast too. Damn it. You, you want a fan? But you want a fan? I'm sure there's someone. Hey, guys out there, I, listen. Okay. Michael Rooker there, wants okay. a fan show. I want a fan show too. There you go. If Kevin's got one. I want one. There you man. go, guys. There's your mission. Someone out there, do it. Someone will, too. This is a crazy crowd. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I loved I loved talking to you, man. Thank you very much. And The fans have been magnificent over the years and and very loyal and, and very cool. When they come up to me at, at the Comic-Cons and the conventions and we do Q&As, I always, always have... Uh, the, the greatest experience with the the Mallrat fans, I and mean, they just do not go away, and they've they've gotten a larger in numbers, and they're only going to get bigger. bigger. It's only going to get bigger. bigger, way bigger, man, he's, way bigger. It's way like he's bigger. firing this machine up for the like the the final push. You know what I mean? So. I, and every almost every photo I take now, I put out my. I put on my two, dude. Yeah, you're gonna get yeah. diabetes by the time you're, you know, in the ground here with all this chocolate covered pretzels, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? It's delicious stuff, though, man. People, people are very kind to me, and they they're very cool and and um, great, great, great stuff, and yeah, good meeting all the fans all the time. Do you remember meeting Scott Schiaffo, who was in the first Clerks? Yeah, I think we met. Okay, he yeah. said hi. He told yeah. me to say hi. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, awesome. Yeah, man. Okay. So oh, how fun! And you know, I still have the same haircut. Oh, I he... saw. I pulled up an old photograph the other day from uh, Mallrat, um the Mallrat shoot. Yeah. In, uh, and and uh, well, you were shaved like we Telly Savalas. We are sitting in this hot tub, hanging out. 
and everybody's there. Everybody's getting together to take the photo. And here I am. I literally look exactly the same. <laughs> I have the same hair. I mean, my hair is still, I have the same haircut. You certainly don't look I 60, my, sir. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> Not at all. No, I don't, I do, I, and I don't, I look exactly the same. I don't even know how old I was when I did the movie. Well, you did but shave your head. My head, yeah, my head does shave yeah. for that. And, and my head is very cropped, very shaved like. Now I, and I did it uh, uh, for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> I ended up cutting my hair into a mohawk. That's right, because you you had the and mo- then I I kept the mohawk for a long time, and then and then of course every time I trimmed the mohawk because I trimmed my own hair, I trimmed the mohawk and get and I'd mess it up. Then I had to trim a little more off, and, and uh, over time. My beautiful mohawk became this little tuft <laughs> of hair on top of my head. Did they and paint I finally you... just said, okay, enough is enough. i got to get rid of this thing. And I ended up shaving it off. And I kept my hair very, very short. Did they, uh, paint, you... The, uh... did they paint you blue or did they use CGI or was it a combination of both? No, there was no, there was no CGI in, the, um, uh, in any of that. It was all, it was all makeup. It was all paint. And, How long? And, um, it took about four hours, four and a half hours. Wow. What did you do? Yeah, yeah, it took a while. What did you do to deal with it? And there, I had to have a dresser. <laughs> I had to have somebody come in and help me get dressed. So so that's so that was a whole process. You had to be there. I mean it they wasn't... do that if, they do that in England. They have dressers. Oh wow. Each individual actor, each individual character like that has their own personal dresser. Wow, and it's the person uh, wow. I, I wanted. Tw- I wanted. I wanted hot twins, but they uh, they furnished me with a <laughs> uh, a young Irish guy. <laughs> and, he, and I said, "Wait a minute, where are my twins?" Yes, <laughs> he says, "Oh, sorry, Mr. <laughs> but anyway, the, 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 I had to have someone help me with my boots on, with my you know air everything That's because right. my hands were already painted." That's right. And my arms were painted, and so I, I had to be very careful uh, putting on my my wardrobe, and and around the neck I had to be very careful putting on all my wardrobe and everything, the scarf and all that, and, and so that it wouldn't get uh, smeared or, or or messed up, and then they'd have to go in and redo it, and and, it, and the makeup and all that stuff was very very well very very well done. Oh yeah, uh, and and it lasted. Uh, it lasted pretty much all day long. If I didn't mess it up when it was still a little fresh in the morning when I was getting dressed, if I didn't mess it up at that time, it would last all day. It was really uh, good, it, 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 and, it, and it was breathable, and it was, um, you know, well done. Yes, it was. It's such a great character. <laughs> such a great character. Mm. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad, man. And, and the Mallrats, i got to tell you, Mallrats fans are Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yeah, no, without a doubt, we're geeks. Yeah. And Walking <laughs> Dead fans. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. We're all. It's like we are one, and we are powerful. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, look at the cons. Look at the conventions over the years. Oh, dude, they um, the conventions now are are massive. They're they're amazing. They're yeah. amazing. I want to thank you so much for being on. I mean, you have no idea how blown away I am. It's like I don't know where I can go from this. I guess now next is Ben Affleck. <laughs> get him! Get him! Get your ass out of here! Let's, talk. Let's see if Kevin can get him first. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> How awesome, man! Look at that! Look at that! That that man's career. I love what he's been doing, and he's such a talent. So. And he's going to be Batman. Beautiful. beautiful man, beautiful stuff. He's going to be the best Batman ever. You watch. I, I, I you know, if he puts, he. Puts that energy in there, that, that that talent that he's got, and, and it certainly will. I mean, dealing with that whole Batman uh, mystique and that whole Batman outfit, apparently, it's you know, my gosh, you know, it's it's tough. I hear it's tough. I hear it's really um, uh, hard. I mean, I, I did a movie called Slither, so oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. It, it's not being in an uh, not being in uh, that kind of. Uh, a wardrobe thing, but uh, man, I tell you, it took seven hours to 
to to turn me into the full uh, the full house monster seven hours to get me into that makeup where I'm slithering around the woods. Yeah, 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 it, yeah. It was tough. Grant was that character. And that, that that was a tough that was a tough makeup job. That was pretty uh gruesome. <laughs> <laughs> it totally was. My the makeup artist that uh was with the uh, the the main guy when they started taking it off when they it took like two hours to get it off me. And about halfway through the, the um process of taking off the makeup, I'd hear this, this poor girl and she would start gagging. At a very specific oh, point in the makeup, she would have to leave. Yeah. She'd have to leave the trailer. She would go outside, throw up, <laughs> breathe for a few minutes, and then come back in and finish. Because of the yeah. it was <laughs> it was gross. Yeah, it yeah. looked like it looked like a real skin being peeled off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh my! It was it was just crazy. And, and uh, amazing, amazing, amazing that it it had that effect, and it was just, it was scary makeup. Did you ever read any Stephen King? I do, yeah. D- have you read? Yeah, I do, and I, and I did, and I did. Um, oh, I did a Stephen King, the Dark Half. Oh, oh the, yeah, the Dark Half. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yes, it's called the Dark Half. I played uh, I played Sheriff Pangborn. I think you'd yeah. make a great Roland Deshane. Which is his ah. his gunslinger character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you that would be a great role for you. I think you, that would be. I don't know if that movie okay. is being made or if anything's happening, but man, if it ever does, I think in my dream casting, it's you, sir. <laughs> ah, thank you, sir. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Call somebody, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe someone will hear this podcast and and get the wheels turning. There we go. There we go, buddy. Yeah. Well, again, thank you so much well, for your time. I, I know that you have a lot I, I of these. Have, it's been a great pleasure. Thank great you, pleasure. sir. Thank you. Take care now. Okay, bye.